Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be this look, which is flawless skin, pops of color, and an also shimmery silver eyeshadow in less than five minutes. So let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is prep your skin for foundation. So I'm going to be using Fido C's Velvet Gel, and this product is found in the newest Ipsy bag, so if you wonder where you can get it, that's where you get it. And this product is actually going to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, so I'm applying that to any of my problematic areas around the eyes, around the mouth, anywhere that you think um, you've got those wrinkles that are starting to show. Now to hide any of those freckles or sunspots, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New York Fit Me Foundation in the shade number 230 and applying that with my Beauty Blender sponge. Now you can apply that directly to your sponge or to the back of your hand as a palette or if you have an actual makeup palette, that'll work too. Just press that color into your face and blend as usual. Now for more coverage, I'm going to be using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30 and you can apply that directly to the tip. As you can see, I apply too much, so I'm going to use the back of my hand as a palette. So just dab it on the back of your hand there and apply it directly to your face and then going back to your little makeshift palette as um, needed. As you can see, it is a few shades lighter than my foundation, but that's okay. You want to brighten up that area anyhow, so you're going to go ahead and do the same process with the tapping and the pushing into your skin as we did with the foundation. Now this next step is going to set and highlight also contouring at the same time using this contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this tapered face brush from Sigma Beauty going into that yellow powder and dusting it right over where I applied the concealer. This is also going to color correct and brighten up that area even more setting it so that it doesn't move anywhere throughout the day. Then going in with the lighter powder to the left, I'm going to use that translucent powder just to dust it all over my face, making sure that I eliminate any shine or oil or anything like that, making sure that my application is flawless. Then taking this large angled contour brush, I'm going to be using circular motions with a dark powder into the hollows of my cheeks. You can also go um, along your jawbone or on your forehead for extra slimming and contouring. Next, using this blush brush and City Colors Be Matte Blush in Fresh Melon. This is very pigmented, so I'm going to be dropping off some of the color on one cheek, moving on to the next, putting a little bit of color there, and then coming back to further blend out that color to really, really nice um, like it says, fresh melon color. It's beautiful and it will complement so many different skin tones. Then moving on to the color on my eyelids, which is Starshine by Melly Beauty. And this is a pencil that can be used as an eyeliner or eyeshadow. And today we're using it as an eyeshadow. I know silver is intimidating, but when you press it and blend it in with your finger, it can be rather light and natural. Next, using a couple of coats of Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. You can add a couple of coats to the top and bottom. Today, I'm just going to keep the mascara on the top, so that is totally optional, whatever you prefer. Next, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Paris' Carbon Black Telescopic Eyeliner. I know a lot of people get intimidated by liquid liner, but the way that this is structured, it helps so much. It's like a felt tip pen or a marker, and it just goes on so flawlessly and so easy and effortlessly. I definitely recommend this particular product because it's not flimsy and it's really easy to control. For added drama, I'm going to be popping on my Red Cherry False Lashes in number 417. I usually use number 523. Those are my go-to everyday lashes, but I did want to mix it up and try something new, but I probably won't be purchasing these ones again, to be honest with you. And last but not least, I'm going to be applying Pop Beauty's Plump Pout Mini, try to say that five times, in Peony Petal. It's a really, really gorgeous pink lip gloss, and I just 
totally adore it and it's a really really nice shade for those of you who are just lovers of nude lips and try to venture out in color this is definitely a good step so hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial thank you so much for watching this is the final look don't forget to follow me on twitter instagram and then also my vlog channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.